Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going live with me to design today's daily design, which is number 834. So yeah, let's jump right into it. I don't really have an idea yet of what I want to do, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I was listening to this Paramore song, so we're going to go with their lyrics, which I have, there we go. So this is like a little paragraph and then we have our main text. Now, um, let's see if we can make this look a little better. This looks pretty neat. Um, I'd like it to be small, that you almost can't see it. And then, so this is font size, let's go with 14. And we'll go with 14 for this as well. Or maybe, let's go all in with this. Right. We are going to, maybe this could look fine. We're gonna go with Gibson, probably. I really like this font. It's so fat. I think I like fat fonts. And let's adjust this. Sometimes I like to change the first letters of the words with some like script font. I usually go with this Nautica font and make it a little bigger. And then I'll do maybe the W. Oh my gosh. Copy paste. The W. Are we gonna do the Y too or not? I don't remember if I really like the Y. Yeah, no, I don't like that. But the W is cool. Nice. All I wanted was you. Good. Uh, we're gonna figure where to put this. We're gonna figure that out later. Uh, let's think about the main font. Let's go and add a little bit of blur. Just a little bit. Let's go with two. Okay. And I'm going to right away add a gradient map from my one of my freebies. From my free packs. I think this is nice. Um, and then I'll start duplicating it and adding more blur. Oh, nice. Let's go with 10. Duplicate it again. Let's go with 20. And again. And let's go with 40. And again. And let's go with 100. Now maybe this, we could change blending mode to something like exclusion. Right? Subtract or exclusion? Maybe subtract, but we need a little bit more blur. Maybe five. Now that looks nice. Okay, this looks better. I'll group everything, then duplicate it, and merge the top group. And I'm going to blur it again. This time I'll blur it like a lot, maybe. Place it behind, before, after. Um, I maybe let's see how the 
Um, uh, radio blur works with the zoom set on 100. And uh, we're basically reapplying it again. I'm pressing Command, Control, F. Uh, it'll take a minute to load. This is a pretty big file. Um, you can see the file specs over here. It's a 4,000 by 5,000 pixel document. Now this looks pretty nice if I say so. Um, I don't want this to be yellow, but maybe a little bit. So let's duplicate this as well. Where do we want to put it? The bottom? I am, well, maybe I kind of like it at the bottom. Let's center it properly. And let's blur the copy that's underneath the gradient map. Not that much. 10. And let's reduce the opacity to like 40% maybe. 60. Okay, that's a little better. Now it's time to start adding some patterns. I love patterns. I'm obsessed with them. I've been making a bunch of cool ones and random ones and just playing around with these is so fun. So let's add this. It's basically just a line, but it's not a regular line. It has a gradient. So whenever you change the blending mode with this, you get some pretty cool effects. Um, see, this is pretty cool. But I'm not sure I want this. I, I think I want the RGB effect. So this could look nice. See, cause look at this. Oh my goodness. I usually go with overlay. Uh, it looks nice. Overlay looks really good with these colors, I think. So let's go with overlay. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity to like 50%. And then I'll go to the adjustments tab and let's add a curves adjustment. And I'm gonna make it just a little S curve. And then I'll just group everything together and duplicate it and then merge it. So this way, if I, if I wanna go back, I still have my <laughs> copy there. Um, next up, I think we're gonna go to the camera raw filter and mix it up a little bit in here. So I really like to play with the color mixer and just go crazy with all the color options they have. Um, so as you guys know, these are like daily designs. So I have a regular full-time graphic designer, corporate graphic designer job. And that basically the reason I started making these daily designs was because I was in a not creative job so what i do all day at work is not really creative and that's why i started giving me like these 30 minutes per day to have a little fun and be creative um, so i usually go in these and just relax and i don't really care if i end up with a design that I don't really love to death. Um, but it's just a way to like get some of my creativity out and have fun designing. So that's the main reason I do this. And 
that's why for these designs i'm not particularly interested in in like working smart and naming my layers and uh, using smart objects i don't really care if that's the main reason why it's because i don't want to be able to go back and fix it i just want to spend these 30 minutes uh, designing having fun with it and whatever i end up with i end up with and i post and i've posted stuff that i really liked i've posted stuff that i didn't really like but that's part of the game um so this looks pretty good in the meantime i've been playing around with the color mixer uh, we can go ahead and also adjust the lighting a little bit so what I do for these is I just like slide it back and forth and see where I like it best. This looks nice. I love really colorful stuff, but if you follow me, you probably already know this. So look at the before and the after. It's pretty nice. Um, what I also like to do, I'll duplicate this and leave this over here. What I also like to do sometimes is just try out some um, RGB options for it. So I'll duplicate it three times. Each copy will have a different color channel assigned to it. And then I'm just going to transform and like Kind of go crazy with it sometimes i go really crazy and like really exaggerate so i end up doing stuff like like this which is pretty nice i am gonna say it looks pretty cool but for this i just wanted it to be subtle so i'm just going to make it a tiny bit bigger and this one as well, just to give it that slight 3D look. So you can see, we can see the color, different color options over here. This is the dark blue one. And this is the green one. And that's the red one. Just like a subtle thing. You can still, you can see it happening, but it's not that much in your face. And uh, when we are happy with it, I'm going to merge everything together once again. Uh, I'm happy with this. We have to add some noise because you know, you know you're not a graphic designer pro if you don't place some noise in there. Let's go with about 10. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll add some texture, but this is it. The detail is crazy. The detail you get in making your documents this big is so good. Like you can zoom in forever in these. It looks like they're 3D. The color is super nice. The texture is amazing. Look at how cool this is and you don't even see that when you zoom out so if you go to my instagram guys make sure to zoom in to get that nice texture and crispy detail um it's worth it i swear look at how pretty the w is as well let me know what you would have done differently if you like it if you don't like it and comment if you have some suggestions for our next daily design and uh, yeah we're almost we're just like not that far away from a thousand daily designs which is insane all right i'll stop talking thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe um, comment down below if you have any suggestions for next daily designs or for future tutorials and uh, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.